I give you my word that I will always put the interests of New Mexicans first. In the summer of 2013, the majority of New Mexico's community mental health agencies was shut down by the Martinez administration, alleging they were guilty of fraud. Arizona companies were brought in to take over. One year later, the fraud allegations remain unproven and the entire mental health system has been seriously compromised, affecting many vulnerable New Mexicans. I think what's happened in behavioral health in New Mexico, instead of taking a step up, I think it's taken a step down and a step backwards. Over the course of time, since 1998, there are services are fewer uh, and the network is weaker. Uh, and it's probably weakest now that it's been since 1998. I think we've put many of our good providers out of business. These are New Mexico businesses. When we brought in Arizona people. Congratulations, we're out of business. Congratulations, there are hundreds of people without jobs now in New Mexico. Congratulations. Congratulations, there's thousands of mentally ill without services. Congratulations. We don't need any more Mr. Boyd's being killed. Children are our greatest promise. We are obligated as Americans to pass on to our sons and our daughters a better, safer place and make, we must be the ones to give it to them. As a volunteer court-appointed child advocate, Larson spent five years working with CYFD and the courts, making sure proper protocol was followed. I think it's badly broken, um, but I think it's badly broken not from the worker level. I think they're overworked. The management structure is punitive, hostile, and it was definitely that way toward me. But the governor returned six million dollars to the legislature last year from CYFD and uh, and then complains that they don't have the resources that they need to deal with these issues. Do you think the state is doing enough when it comes to preventing child abuse? Well, it's that's a difficult question, Katie, because really our mandate is to intervene, uh, not prevent. Why is there such a problem in New Mexico with this? There's a problem everywhere. I mean, we're no different in New Mexico than any place else. The statistics nationally are that one in four girls and one in six boys will be abused sexually by the time they reach the age of 18. Senator Padilla is concerned about staffing at the Children, Youth, and Families Department. He says 150 positions at CYFD are vacant and $6 million at the department went unused for the past two years, a situation he calls unacceptable. Here in New Mexico, the consequences have been severe. Experts say we have no other choice but to find a way to stop the cycle of child abuse before it starts. If we don't want to lose generations of children, if we don't want to continue down this path, we have to shift dramatically.